Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I want to make something with this cute unicorn. My daughter drew this uh, digit digitally difficult word. Um, she has a, a drawing pad that you draw on and then you see it on your computer and she just started trying it out and she made this yesterday. She sent it to me and she said, look what I made, a unicorn. And I thought it was so cute that um, I just said, can I use it for something in an art journal? And she said, of course you can. So this is a drawing by my daughter. One of her first drawings, to be honest, on uh, a digital thingy, which I think is amazing because I couldn't draw a unicorn on paper, let alone on such a... <laughs> difficult dig digital thing. Well, that was difficult to say. So first I'm gonna fussy cut this a little cutie because I want to see if this journal is uh, big enough to work in or if I need to get a bigger journey. Journal? <laughs> bigger journey. A bigger journal. <sighs> a bigger journal. Words are difficult today again. And I see that my battery is flashing. Well, that's a good start of the video. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So if this works, I want to use um, my Distress Oxide inks. Wait a minute. Oh, I can do this. Because uh, my camera stopped recording. That's a good begin of the video. Okay, what was I saying? I was saying <laughs> that I want to use um, Distress Oxide inks. Because I just saw a video by Lisa from uh, Desert Dragon Works. And she has a really fun channel where she shows you all kinds of stuff and uh, also creative videos. And she did a shout out to me. So that's so sweet. Thank you, Lisa. So actually I'm doing a shout out back. <laughs> uh, if I remember, I'm going to put the link to her channel in the description box down below. And she made a really great card with um, Distress Oxide inks that she made because she was inspired by a background I made. And now I'm a bit inspired by the background she made. So. <laughs> We inspire each other, so now I'm going to try and make a, a background with Distress Oxide inks. Because guys, I haven't used those in a very long time. I know I used a yellow just a while back because it was in the wrong box. And I didn't even see that it was Oxide ink. Let's just do this. So, um, yeah. I'm just gonna fussy cut this little cute unicorn. And uh, then I'll get back to you because... I can't, apparently can't fussy cut and talk at once, which is odd because I can talk always, everywhere. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stop. Okay. Oh my goodness, Noortje, this is just the cutest unicorn. Look, at, I still find it so amazing she can draw this. I mean, I love crafting and I know a lot of techniques and I know I can draw, I just don't have the patience for it. But look, she just made this and I think the size is okay so let's get nah, I don't want it next to her oh next to this one that's nice oh okay unicorns on this side cute fairy like thing on that side unicorn on this side so um right now what now I take out my oxide inks and I want cute colors. So I want yellow. I want this one. Maybe this. Oh, orange. And probably some pink. I must have pink. Oh, purple. That's a lot of colors for such a little page. I'm not sure if this is the best storage. <laughs> it is the cutest storage, but um, <laughs> it's not really easy. I need to store them a bit better by color. Oh, this one is even better. Where's me pink? Uh, this is all blue, so this was stored pretty well. Uh, ah, here you have bubblegum. No, picked raspberry. Okay, worn lipstick. I'm gonna take these colors, bright colors. I think. Ooh. So I haven't used this in ages. I am going to use these sponges, if I can get to them, in my cute bowl. Oh, I like it. And I've got some water, but this thing doesn't spritz as much the way I want to anymore. It, it's leaking. So, oh well. So I'm just going to start by putting some color on the page. There's already some color on the page. And 
of course, lots of pink and purple. <laughs> and uh, as usual, I have no idea what to do next, but we'll find out. So, a bit of pink. No, not a bit of pink, a lot of pink. So that's what you have with these daubers. You have, you see the circles a lot. Of course you can blend a bit more so you don't see them as much. But maybe, maybe I just like the effect on this page. So I'm just gonna leave it. So that was picked raspberry. Now we're going for the twisted citron. That's an awesome color. Whoa, <laughs> that's bright. Uh, I have no idea what to do with it next. Maybe I can stamp some flowers on here or butterflies or rainbows because look at the cute unicorn. That's what I have in mind when I make this page. Right. Okay. And then I'm going for a bit of orange. Just pick another one. Now these are a bit dirty, but this is just because I used it and it's dry. It doesn't stain anymore. These are Dolbers by Tsukineko and I just love to use these. Uh, I heard someone say that you can buy them on Amazon, I think. Tsukineko. And uh, it's just, I just love these Dolbers. I use them a lot. Okay, so now for a bit of waterworks. I hope not. Ooh, I'm gonna put something over, uh, over this thing. <laughs> so, to keep it safe from all the water I'm gonna put on here. Big splashes of water. I love it. I haven't done this in... What am I doing? Clapping my hands. <laughs> I have not done this in ages and I absolutely love working with this stuff. I can't make it too wet because this paper isn't made to use with water. It's just a, a photo album. Oh, hello Alice. <laughs> so I am going to take my heat tool. You know what? I want more splashes. Maybe just spritz it? I'm not sure if you see that. I want splashes. Just make my fingers really wet. Splash, splash, splash. Big drops. Especially over here on these ugly parts. Okay, now I really, really put lots of water on here. Let's see. Oh, you can also already see it. Oh, look at that. I love it. Okay, let's try it. Okay, now I could do some more layers on here, but I really like it. I hope this still... Yeah. <laughs> the washi tape, still, washi tape still works. I am going to take a bit of yellow and go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go over it with pink. The edges a bit. Oh yeah, well that doesn't work. Okay, need to spread a bit more water on the pink. Look at that, that's what I want. I just want a big splatter over here. How do I do that? That's not a big splatter. Splatter? <laughs> I really like this effect. And... Patience, patience, patience. No, I've got no more patience. Well, this is good enough. Okay. So the only thing I don't really like is, uh, well, over here, but I'm gonna put the unicorn over here, is this little thing. Uh, it turned out to be mud. Of course, I shouldn't use these colors together, but oh well, I did. So I'll probably just stick something over here. So, little unicorn. Oh, that's so cute. Kawaii. Um, 
Now what? Now what? Now what? Um, right. I could go over it with some stencils because that's what Lisa did and that's what I like so much. Let's just get some stencils. So I am going to use some flowers on here. So, wait a minute. I have this. Oh, cute hearts. Okay, hearts. <laughs> So what am I going to do? Just use ink? Or shall I use some paste or something? If I still have that. Oh my goodness, where do I have it? Yeah. Because I've been rearranging, <laughs> I can't find anything anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I did know where it was. But I don't know anymore. Okay, so I didn't find what I was looking for, but I did find these and I have not used these either. I've got so many of these jars with stuff in it <laughs> that I just haven't used yet. Uh, I like buying new stuff and then I buy two or three colors. Usually pink and green and turquoise. <laughs> but this might be nice. Oh, my, I think my husband is coming downstairs. Uh, that's the trouble of sitting in the middle of the living room. I think he wants to cook dinner. <laughs> Uh, so I might just have to wait until we have eaten. Oh, this doesn't work. I have used it. Or it was empty when I bought it. But, um, right, I'm just gonna hear what he, if he wants to cook dinner and then you'll see me in a, a few hours. But uh, just a second. Oh boy, I really do. Oh, we're eating pizza. Oh yeah, he can cook dinner. Here he comes. Okay, so pizza can wait a little, so I'm just gonna do this first. Jana's gonna read something and I'm just going to go on with this. Oh, wow. Well. <sighs> it's solid. What? Guys, it's solid. It's Knight heart in Dutch. <laughs> well, that was fun. 5.75, I think I used it once or twice. Yeah, rock solid. Well, that was a lot of fun. Let's try this one. <laughs> I really don't like stuff like that. That's why I like tubes, little tubes. Is that a tube? Way better because it just doesn't dry out. There probably was too much air in here, but how do you? How else do you keep this? It is. It is hard. <sighs> I mean, there was this lid on here and everything, but um, apparently not enough. So I've had this for maybe two years. Now this one it looks better. I have a feeling that this one is new. <laughs> so you can use it once. And that's going to be really fun. Although this is... <laughs> I think it's almost dried out as well. Well, let's just try it a bit. Green hearts. I really wanted pink hearts, but oh well. Green hearts it is. But I think if it works, it is really awesome stuff. But if you have a tip on how to keep stuff like this, good. Because if I... Oh, I have a problem. How do I do this? I'm not sure if this is supposed to be as thick as this. Because I think it's it's not fluid, of course. Because it's a, a gel. But this is thicker than a gel already. <laughs> it works really well like this, to be honest. But like I said, if you have a tip on how to, you know, keep this working for longer than just once or twice, <laughs> I would love to know. Let's just see what this does. This little heart here. I can do this. Come on. Ooh, it is pretty. Although this one just wants to come off the paper. <laughs> Shall I do some hearts over here as well? Look at this. This Well, maybe this is the way it's supposed to be. I don't know. No, this is already dried out a lot, I think. Oh, let's go over the really ugly part. This, of course, needs to dry. 
So I'm not sure if this is maybe water-based, so you can spritz some water in it, like with illusion paints, but I'm just gonna put this one back. And hope it stays okay. But this one I can throw out. It's been fun. Well, it hasn't, but wow. So this needs to dry, of course. Let's speed that up with a heat tool. Okay, I just saw it says Anleitung drinnen, or what did it say? Anleitung innen, so I thought, what? So here, <laughs> if you can open it, you have how it works. In German, in Spanish, in... Die Modelliercreme ist geeignet für bla 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 bla. Staub und Fett frei sein. Trocknungszeit je nach. Okay, uh, let's do it in English. Crap, this one is English. There's no Dutch on here. <laughs> um, well, you can apply it to about everything. Drying time depends on thickness of the coating within 24 hours. Clean tools with water. So I'm not sure. Do you know if I spritz water in here? If, uh, well, if there's something to do with this, if I can still make it fluid somehow, or do I need to spritz some water in here? I would love to know if you use this because this one is solid hard and I really want to use this one again. Or is there something to revive this? Let me know. So going over it with a heating tool won't do that much, but just a little. I think I just need to go around it. So it's cute. It looks like unicorn poop. <laughs> That's what they do. They poop green hearts. Um, <laughs> okay, let's get these out of sight. Um, I do have some of these flowers. Should I, can I stamp them on here? Is there something underneath? No. I can do some of these flowers. This set is by Stamping Back. It's a Dutch company and I just absolutely love these. These are very cute. I can put them over here. And then these two. Just over here. Or like this. It doesn't matter actually, so I'm just gonna do something but I am going to put this underneath so there is a rose over here <laughs> need to be careful where I stamp um can I do this of course I can so I want to use I think I want to use my dilution um, <laughs> coloring pens that I I'm just gonna show you in a while um ink so it really doesn't matter what ink I use. I'm just gonna use archival ink. Oh boy. I just ink my desk. Really nice. Not what I wanted. So I want this. A bit over here. Apparently, I think where the rose is. <laughs> On the other side, so it's probably not gonna work. Well, just push real hard. Because I only get one go. Oh, I like it. So, let's do some more. So, now I need to be careful for those little hearts. Yep, there's a rose underneath. Oh, but I do like it. So, this is cute. You don't see it because of the tail, but I can... oh well. So I think I'm going to stamp a few of them. So, let's see. Oh, that's just so cute. And then maybe over here something a bit sparkly. Okay, so if I color this, then I want uh, something over here. So I can do, oops, <laughs> she can say hello. 
and has a cute rainbow, but I'm not sure if it fits in the page. I absolutely love these, but it's a bit too late for that, I think. These flowers are cute. Well, maybe one or two. And then I have some of these words, and guys, you've seen me use these a lot. I bought them at the action, but as you can see, uh, it's getting a bit empty. <laughs> so I hope they get new ones. I haven't seen them in a year, so I'm probably not. A door? Nah. Angel? I like sweet, but I want it to be pink. It needs to be pink. It's a unicorn. Remember. Beautiful. Nah. Or sweet. I do like sweet. Well, first let me just color in uh, <laughs> the flowers. So I've got these brush uh, markers, brush mar brushes actually, water brushes, haha. And um, but to be honest, the blue is too dark. I wanted to color this in with the, these brushes, but the blue is too dark. Maybe, wait a minute, I can use my Artisa. So these are actually, <coughs> sorry, actually watercolor pens, but you can also just use them to draw with. So because I want these flowers to be a bit blue. Oh, this is exactly what I want. So I'm not gonna color them really pretty. I'm just gonna go a bit over it so it looks a bit like it's. I'm just not going to color it too neat, because then you have to be very careful what you do. And now I can just go over it a bit. I just don't have the patience for it. Shh, don't tell anyone. I like it. But to be honest, I do like the look you get when you just scribble a bit. Now over here, of course, it's a bit darker. Oh, I like it. I like it. These are awesome. Uh, they're called real brush pens. So you can use these with water. But um, today I'm not going to use water on it. I'm just going to use it as coloring pencils. And they're awesome. So what color should I do the other flowers? Orange? I can hear you think orange. <laughs> I don't know which one of you thought that, but well, probably me. But it's going to be orange. Let me know if you thought of orange when I asked you. That would be fun. So that's blue. And then I can also use pink, of course, but I'm going for orange. Or different colors, of course. This is dry. I thought I, if I go over here, I'll smudge it a lot, but no, it's dry. Oh, this is cute. I could have used some glitter. I mean, it's a unicorn. You actually need glitter. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to color these because it's a lot of work. <laughs> and then this video will go be way too long. Apparently they're all going to be orange, by the way. I thought of another color, but no, nope, it's all going to be orange. Okay, see you in a bit. So guys, um, all colored in. And this part, I'm just going to put the unicorn over. I have to make sure it's not like this, because, yeah. Um, so I've been searching for some really nice words I could use. I just want the word cute or sweet, and I'd rather have it in glittery stuff. But I don't have any stamps that say cutie. Well... Yeah, a small one like that. So I can do You Make Me Smile, but hmm? Don't You Look Smart? Nah. This one is really awesome. Some of us are too cute to take life seriously, but I don't think it'll fit here. It's just too much words, too many words. Um, then I thought <laughs> maybe I can use a rainbow or a glittery cloud. It is really nice. I've got them in these Funkelsticker Einhörner. So these are all glittery unicorn stickers. But I'm not really sure about that either. I, I really want a word like cutie or... So I thought uh, on this set you have enjoy, blah, blah, smile. 
which is really awesome, but it's just too small. So, be amazed. Nee. No, so no, no stamps. Then I found these and I tried out fun because I've been trying out some items, some stuff. And yeah, I don't think it's really that much fun. Haha. <laughs> so the other ones are bigger, so they would have been better, but spring or friends, happiness. They're awesome, but not for this one. So, I don't know anymore. Well, yes, well, I might, then I found these. And this is awesome stuff, when you open it, then there's no lid. <laughs> so now I just have a box with, yeah. So I took the letters cutie out of here. So let's see if that is nice. It is really bulky. Do I have to make more on this side? Ah, yeah, this one is okay. So if I do this side, oh, I can do this. So maybe this is gonna be it, cutie. And then of course I can put some glitter on it, but I don't think that is gonna be very nice. I'm just gonna leave it white. I think this is what I'm gonna do. So uh, after I finished coloring this, I just went through all my stickers and lots of stamps and I just don't have, I need words, I need, bold stamps with cutie and, and and fun and love and sweetie like these and uh but i don't have them i've got loads of stamps but i don't have those i've got loads of stickers but i don't have those so i think i'm gonna do this yeah so first we're gonna glue on the cutie <laughs> uh for that i need a piece of paper And I've got this new glue stick. Oh, sorry. And it uh, actually sticks on really, really well. And you can see, because it's blue, where you've got the glue. That rhymes. But uh, maybe for you this is a really normal glue stick. I have not seen this. I think I bought it abroad. I have no idea where. I used it in another video. The only thing is you get these things. You go outside. Um, the line I wanted to say of your paper and then there's just a little blob of of glue and I really don't like that oh well <laughs> let's see if this works oh she's so cute okay I'm just gonna take a piece of paper This is awesome. <laughs> she really is a cutie. Okay, I like it. I really like it. So now I need to glue those little things on. And that's gonna be fun. <laughs> and maybe I can put some glitter because I feel this needs glitter. I mean, it's a unicorn, it needs glitter. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> it's because I've got glue on my hands, of course. <laughs> Just one more, I can do it. So it's probably not as nice as I wanted it. I wanted it in a nice circle, but that's not gonna happen, so. I'm satisfied with this. Well, a circle, half a circle. Cutie! So this is gonna affect, of course, the rest of the pages, but, well, I also have this big thing and it works. We'll find out. <laughs> That's a problem for later. So, I want some glitter on here, but I also think I want some glittery dots. Don't you? I mean, it needs glitter. Come on, it's a unicorn. So, if you want glitter... <laughs> uh, what do I have? I have these cute things. Maybe I can... Mm. Put some little glitters in the center of some of the flowers. Oh, oh boy. It's all so small. But it is so cute. <laughs> I hope Nortje likes it. I do. 
Um, one more over here. Oh, this is fun. I want one over here. Like this. And then, and then, I can, of course, get some pink ones. These aren't really very glittery, but... Pink, 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 pink. Over here. Why not? Let's just do it. I have no idea why. <laughs> but probably just because I can. Oh boy. Okay. So... Let's see. I didn't push them down, so I hope I can still rearrange them a bit. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll put these back later on. It's such a mess on my desk, you won't believe it. Um, okay, so now I want some glitter. So I've got some glitter. And I want it on the unicorn, actually. And, well, let's just do it. Now what? Um, do I do some glitter on the flowers as well? Let's just see. No. Or yes, or no, I don't know. <laughs> ah, you can never have too much glitter. So, a bit over here, just the big ones. And the last one. Well. A lot of glitter. It's also on my hands. I think that's it. Actually, I do like the fact that this is white. I wanted to put some pink glitter on it, but I do like this because the unicorn itself is also white. <laughs> Look at it. It's a really cute unicorn page. And guys, these are almost falling off the page. It's really weird. Oh well, makes it look a bit interesting what do you think of this cutie of this cute unicorn page so Nortje, i absolutely love what you did with this unicorn make some more nice uh well this needs to dry it looks a bit weird now i just cleaned my finger and now <laughs> when this is dry you won't see the stripes that much look at it i love it so guys i absolutely love this page it's so cute and i love the cute unicorn Nortje, you're amazing you just drew this first try uh, on a digital thingy. So I love it. Guys, give Nortje a thumbs up and give her some love in the comments down below because this is just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, Lisa, thank you for inspiring me <laughs> to do this background. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have thought of using my oxide inks. I haven't used them in a while. So thank you for the shout out on your video and uh, go check out her channel, guys. And, um, well, let me know what you think of this cutie. It's totally different from the page be, uh, on the other side, but actually I think they go great together. They're totally different, but they're both a bit dreamy. <laughs> I love it. So, again, I would love to know what you think about this page, and I would love it if you subscribe, of course. I have creative videos every Monday and Wednesday, and then Disney videos or Karin in Karen in Wonderland videos every Saturday and then something in between if I, if I have something to show you and um, I love it so um, <laughs> so all that's left to say is magische groetjes magical greetings from the Netherlands that's totally different from what I normally say okay bye